Hi, I'm El Guevara Virta, and this one is about Angel Inferno signature Marty Friedman 100 watt amplifier. <laughs> Friedman signature Inferno 100 watt tube amp for EL34s in the power amp section and for ECC83. Two of them are kind of the driver stages, and then one is drives the effect loop, if I remember correct, and one is the you know the, the, the face spinner. I must say that this is probably my favorite angle amp. I tried quite a few on this channel. Borrowed, I borrowed them from a music Swiss great music store, like like this one. And I like the artist edition a lot, and, and the Fireball. And the Fireball was hundred watt. I've used the Fireball sixty on both Cyrus albums, along with other other amps. That was one amp. But this is like. I mean, immediately when I plugged in, it took me like 30 seconds to dial the sound, great sound, and then I came up with the, the riffs uh, you heard and, and wrote the song. And I didn't use any overdrives or anything, it was just the amp. On the, on the song, I recorded the right rhythm guitar afterwards. And then I mixed it so that I added a little bit delay to the kind of the lead lead part and the 
kind of the intro riff thing. That part. So what we have here is two channels. Clean channel, basic controls, gain, bass, middle, treble, volume. And then there's a bright switch. Let's put that on, so... And the way I like it, it has not much gain now, but it's really responsive. If I pick a little bit harder, it kind of adds a little bit of breakup, and then I can... that kind of plexi like thing in there and the bright switch I actually like that there's a little bit because you know Les Paul humbuckers this is a, my signature ESP one of them with this one with 5766 pickups and yeah the, the signal chain is the same like on all my videos uh, to the pedal board now i don't have no, anything on then it goes to khe amp switcher I, I will compare this to a couple of amps and then the sand truck reactive lo load where i have my uh, signature ir from jens book record while over it shows and then i'm recording this to cubase the guitar the voice i'm recording with this lavalier, lavalier microphone so yeah basic basic clean channel and then here's the gain boost which affects both both channels, so you can... You can get this, you know, nice bluesy bluesy vibe so let's put that back on and let's compare it to so that you get an idea another German amp uh, blue guitars amp one iridium which is absolutely fantastic amp that's my main amp for live whenever we have a chance to play on on tour so now the inferno let's start with the Let's dial it back a bit. this really really nice cool cool clean and you can get it really really fast but I kind of like this this type of let's compare it to blue guitars and Bonnie Iridium's clean channel I have a chorus on here bit different this is a little this has a little bit more but really good clean sounds both in my opinion okay then let's switch to the overdrive channel and you can switch all these modes and channels bright switch loop on off with a full switch because angles works with with several different food switch sees so you can do many things with your feet okay now the overdrive channel the second channel and what i had on the song there it was just the the amp so without the gain boost it's like this <laughs> And 
and there's lots more gain on top. But this is kind of cool to use it this way, so quite low gain, which is kind of bluesy. Really, really nice. And then when you add the gain, so this alone is it's pretty much like two channels inside one one channel. And this boost is it's like having an overdrive pedal in front. This is to me it sounds and feels like it's pretty transparent boost so it, it doesn't cut the low so you have to have, be careful with the low end when you use this boost but let's say if I want to use super overdrive then what I will do is like this so this off then I can turn a lot more bass because SD cuts the lows a little bit <laughs> So this works really well with Super Overdrive too. And then when you take the SD off, you have a nice fat sound and then you can roll down the volume. But since there's now that much bass, the sound don't become th thin when I roll down the volume. So this works without. If this would be my signature amp, I would would have wanted this gain boost to be more like surprise, surprise, <laughs> super overdrive, so that it boosts the mids a bit more and cuts cuts the lows. But obviously, since this is Marty Friedman's signature, he likes it this way. It's absolutely great, like this way also. But then. You kind of have to keep in mind that the bass don't get flabby, so... There. And then there's this tone shift. This kind of changes the character of the whole channel. Because it adds quite significant mid-boost. I don't know the frequencies, but I feel that it's, it's quite broad, like maybe somewhere from 500, like low, medium, low mids to kind of like high, high mids. So check it out what, what happens. I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> So the sound when the mid tone is engaged, which is a mid boost, it's really thick. But I, I like that too. Like I said, it's a great amp. I really, I really like all, all of these different tone options. <laughs> So, 
that's that. And then there's second master behind, where what you can control on and off with the full switch, whatever you want to use with this effect loop. Is it's a parallel loop, and when it's dialed to zero, it's like it bypasses the whole loop from the circuit. Then there's noise gate. I don't have it on because I'm not using like insane amounts of gain, so I don't don't feel like using one. Okay, and let. Let's compare this to 800, because to me this probably one of the reasons why I felt immediately so kind of home with this, and I was able to dial a like great tone in my opinion really fast. Is that this channel is not that far from 800, you know, EL34. So now what I have here is the little brother, which is Bad Boy's little brother. This is from 1985, and EL34 in the power amp section. So, let's play with that now. No overdrives. And then the Inferno. Yes, different sound a little bit, but to me they are in the same ballpark. Like I mean, this has lots more gain on tap, but I, I really feel connected. Let's compare both with the Super Overdrive on. So first the Inferno. <laughs> Conclusion. This is great. I I like this a lot. I would say, and I will say, and I'm saying, this is the this one I like the most of the Engel amps I've tried so far. Really easy to use, really fast to dial. So I mean, there's no presence control, but you don't need. Or at least I didn't find the need because I think that this treble it also boosts a certain let me show you certain frequency. But then when you dial it a little bit much, I th if if I feel like it, it, it adds kind of like this high shelf thing, what, what a presence knob usually usually does. So let's take the SD off. There, there, it's kind of like. Well, whatever it's doing, it, it, I, I, I like it. So I didn't find the need to, you know, I, I actually <laughs> just realized that there isn't a presence knob. <laughs> but yeah. Fantastic amp. Great work, Engel. Great work, Marty Friedman. Simple two channel amp with the full switch, more channels because of the bright switch, the, the tone now it changes the mid character almost like to another amplifier. 
gain boost to my liking it, it boosts a little bit it adds a little bit too much gain and and uh, it boosts the lows so I would have liked it to be more like a super overdrive but it was easily compensated by dialing the bass back then when I have it off then the bass obviously is a little bit uh, well not that bassy but minor minor detail hope you found this interesting and informative if you like thumbs up subscribe you know the drill until next time take care bye